My name is Ranger Scott Gediman, and I am lucky enough to be a park ranger here in Yosemite National Park. We're right in the center of the park in the heart of Yosemite at the Badger Pass Ski Area. Badger Pass is known as a real family-friendly ski area. It's California's original ski area dating back to the 1930s. We are one of the only two or three national parks across the country that have a ski area within the park and our concessioner Yosemite Hospitality does an outstanding job managing it. My name is Chelsea Lehman. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing with Yosemite Hospitality. If you've never been skiing before, you can come and sign up for lessons. Anyone from the kiddos all the way to your adults who have never set foot on a pair of skis before. Everyone's welcome and it's really affordable for the whole family to come up. You can drive up to Badger Pass, park in the lot, and then within a five minute walk, you're to the lifts or to the trailhead to get out and go cross country skiing or snowshoeing. Also, if you're staying in the valley, you can hop on one of the free shuttles. So you can show up here without any skis, snowshoes, anything like that, and you can rent them here, get out for the day, drop it off, and not have to worry about hauling your gear up or out. My name is Josh Helling. I'm the director of Yosemite Mountaineering School and the Badger Pass Nordic Center. You do not have to be a skier to enjoy Badger Pass. We rent cross-country skis, snowshoes, and we have a tubing slope. The Glacier Point Road is the main cross-country ski trail where a scenic view of Half Dome and Yosemite Valley can be found. There are multiple backcountry ski huts where people can spend the night, camp in a tent, or build a snow cave or an igloo. The National Park Rangers lead snowshoe walks and talks about the wildlife, talks about the weather, talks about geology. So one of my favorite things to do is get up here really early um, before the majority of people get up here, grab yourself a breakfast sandwich, a nice hot coffee fuel up before going out on snowshoeing or a day of skiing. So you can head on over to the day use lodge and grab yourself some lunch or maybe a snack before you head back down to the valley or on for wherever you're headed next. One more thing to consider when you are planning your trip to come up to Badger Pass Ski Area, we always recommend that you check the road conditions to make sure if you need to have chains on your car when you're driving up. And the best place to check that is TravelYosemite.com. You'll find all the info you need there to plan your trip, check road conditions, and get any more info that you might need.